This video is sponsored by Classic Football Shirts, the best place to get your classic and vintage football shirts. To get cheap retro palace shirts, click the link in the description below. And for an extra 10% off, use the code CFSPJ10 at checkout. Hello and welcome to the eCrystal Palace TV YouTube channel. I'm Alfonso Greenborough and today I'm bringing you a preview to this weekend's game against Everton at Goodison Park. Crystal Palace are looking to avoid three Premier League defeats on the bounce when they travel to Everton on Sunday. Sellers Park has not been a happy hunting ground for Roy Hodgson's side, but they are still to score a single goal this season. Wins on the road against Fulham and Huddersfield, however, offer hope for the weekend trip to Merseyside. Everton have only dropped points at Goodison Park against West Ham and Huddersfield this season. In regards to team news, Wilfred Zaha is due to be assessed for an injury sustained whilst on international duty. Ward picked up a muscular injury in training and will be unavailable for the match, whilst Johnny Williams is also not available for selection. Max Mayer and Alexander Soloff are in doubt currently due to illness, whilst Christian Menteke is still injured, but his recovery is expected to be marginally shorter than first expected. In terms of my predicted lineup, I've gone with Wayne Hennessy in goal, with a back four of Patrick Van Aan at our left back, two centre halves of Mamadou Sacco and James Tompkins, with Anne Wamba Sacco at right back. In the midfield, I've gone with a midfield three of Luka Milivojevic, Max Mayer and Cheku Kiate. And up front, I've gone with a three, with James McArthur and Andros Townsend operating wide, with Jordan Ayew at striker. The latest e Crystal Palace podcast, where I view the game against Wolves, is now available on the channel. Click the i button now. Don't forget to check out and download my weekly match review podcast later in the week for all this weekend's reaction. So thanks for watching, I hope you all have a good weekend, and hopefully Palace will win all three points. All that's left for me to say is, remember to... Up the palace.